Another way you can get the seller to participate in a purchase uh, a real estate transaction is you can get them to do what's called a transfer of deed or a subject to transaction. And what that means is if a seller is on uh, title of the property, meaning they own the property, which I guess if they do, then they'd be the seller. And what happens is you will negotiate with them to transfer the property or to transfer the deed to you to sell you the property subject to them staying on the mortgage. And so it's kind of an interesting situation and everybody thinks it's really weird and it probably is. But what happens is they're selling you the property. You don't have to purchase it. You, what happens is you're going to then service the mortgage for that seller. So the more the seller still has is still on the mortgage for the property, but they don't own the property anymore. The banks are, are crazy about this. There's actually usually in a mortgage, a, a due on sale clause, meaning whenever a property is sold, that the mortgage is automatically due on sale, meaning they have to, you have to pay off the mortgage. Uh, some lawyers uh, won't execute a, a subject to transaction, which for that reason, uh, but if you can get it done, what it means is you now are on the property, meaning you are on title. You are the sole owner of that property. The mortgage for that property is still, is, is still on that property, but the owner of that mortgage, the mortgage drawer of that property, is the seller who has no rights to that property anymore. So it's kind of a strange situation. What you then do is you approach the mortgage holder, uh, the bank, let's say, whoever whoever is the mortgage person for the for the, or the mortgage lender for that property, and you start paying them directly. Say you get the seller, or you can do it yourself. Saying I'd like to change the uh, the monthly payments to come out of this bank account. Normally, the I've never seen it. Normally, and normally the banks will allow this. And they, and you, as long as you continue to make payments, uh, the bank sh never should never uh, balk or never complain that you know th this situation exists. Meaning where you are now the owner, but you're not on title, you're not on the mortgage documents. So it's it's very key. It's very uh, critical that you continue to make those mortgage payments. Uh, I guess the the problem with that too is this, if the uh, if the seller ever declares bankruptcy or there's ever a problem with their financial situation, then when they have to go after the property, there, there's going to be an issue there because you, they don't really own the property and the mortgage on the property is still in their name. So it becomes kind of messy. I've never had those situations exist so or happen to me, so I don't know the details about what would happen in that situation, but it's just something to keep in mind. So when negotiating with the seller, if they say they, they just want to get rid of this property, and usually it's people that are transferred or it's people that are investors and they, they don't know what to do. So you basically take over their mortgage payments and you become the owner of the property, but they stay on the mortgage. Okay. So that's a commonly known as a subject to transaction. Uh, so if you like what you hear and you want to find out more about real estate investing and how to scale your business really fast, go to invest.jimpellerin.com.